Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, this is the first type of live commentary video of this sort that I've filmed since the new setup in the move, and I kind of messed up a bit. Uh, you can hear the TV in the background, and I sound like I'm far away from my microphone, which I am. Uh, I'm going to work to fix this in the future, so I apologize, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks. Hello everybody, this is Temple Enigma, and welcome to a Forge tutorial. Yes, this is our first, or my, first official Forge tutorial for Halo 5. Finally, I got around to doing something. So today we're going to be looking at the three basic building styles of Halo um, in relation to Forge. So uh, they are, we're going to go through each, each of them, basically, and um, I'm going to show you kind of what I did in each design. Um, in this tutorial, I sort of showed, I built... I did it in the design of bridges, so I built three bridges, each using the different building styles. If you'd like to see other structures, let me know. So let's get started. So the first build design is human. So with a human design, it is pretty simple. It's very straightforward and very much like you would see in real life. Um, nothing too different, nothing too special. Um, so let me show you what I built here. Uh, all I did was have a couple bollards that pull down, and I just added a little warthog for fun, and this is a little road. The red block at all the ends of these signifies the end. I just decided for something simple here. And then you can drive back the other way, get out, and then re-raise the bollards. Or pylon. Are these called pylons? Yeah, they're called pylons. I call them bollards. Um, down below, uh, we have some very simple uh, supporting structure here. Uh, a nice column in the center. And then more of the supporting structure on the other side. So like I said, um, human is very much what you would see in real life. It's modeled after real life. And in some cases, just more futuristic. So things like factories cities, roads, all that kind of thing is human. It is the most common building style because it is something we all know. So let me just quick show each of the pieces of this little bridge and then we'll move on. So these are actually bridge pieces. These are um, considered vehicle bridges. They have the cool little strut structures underneath. So I thought they'd be a good idea. Go a little simple. I went a little simple with these, des these designs. You can go as complex or as simple as you'd like. For the barriers, I'm using the cover street barriers. These are colored, hang on, these are colored white and red, both with the metallic turned all the way up. That gives them the metallic, you know, that bright metallic color. There's a glitch in Forge where you can walk through the edges of these. Um, the ground, on the other hand, back to the ground, is black, and it's primary set to zero, so it's more matte colored, which gives it more of an asphalt look. These are just decals centered on each of the blocks. And then I have these street lamps, which are literally just light fixture street lamp, and they're just hanging out. I didn't play with any of the details on that. Down below, we have these heavy barriers. These are also set to white, and the metallic is turned up, giving them, again, that metallic feel. This middle piece is actually the crane. If I go down below, you can see this is actually the crane body. Well, the bottom of the crane is a concrete pillar, which I stuck right here, and I like the way that looks. For the bollards, these are just the pylon pieces, and this is just a terminal. I can quick show you the script if you'd like. If you go down, it's just interaction power set on channel alpha toggle, and the two scripts are as followed on power state alpha on. Each of these moves down by 20 pieces, and on alpha off, they reset. That allows this action here to happen. So that's it for human. Human is very, very simple. I, mean, I didn't want to spend a lot of time working on it, and I didn't want to spend a lot of time explaining it, because it's something you've already seen before. But moving on, the next build style is Covenant. Now, I did a bit of a mockery here, and um, this is kind of a mock-up of the bridge from Truth. So it's not perfect, but it's it's something. So the key with Covenant is, just like humans is basically normal, Covenant is curves. There is no such thing, for lack of a better term, in 
Covenant builds as angles. There's no such thing as a right angle most of the time. Covenant theme is kind of tricky to build in Forge and is the hardest in my opinion because if you look at Truth, Covenant have like little octagonal details on everything. And there's nothing really in this uh, build structure that has that um, with the exception of like the curved Truth shields themselves. So let me show you what I did here. These are just cylinder pieces. I used an energy barrier at the bottom, little circle in the middle, and then just for fun, showed off a little profit at the edge here. So I'll go through all the pieces for you here. These are just regular old cylinders. Sizing is up to you. In the center, I made a bigger circle. These are a bigger cylinder, I should say. And then I just stacked them on top of each other. Um, I wanted to give it kind of a rounded up edge, so it kind of comes up. This middle is the breakout energy barriers and the energy bar emitters. I turned them to purple. Same over here. This is the breakout cover top. Looks like that. And then this is just the profit hologram. And it makes sounds and stuff when you get near it. The key to Covenant, like I said before, is curves. The other thing is colors. Pur purples, very dark blues, and occasionally dark reds are the primary colors of Covenant. Think of any of the Covenant levels from the Halo games, like the, um, the Gravemine level or anything like that. Or think of the maps that exist, such as Regret and Truth are the two key ones here. Up front here, I built a little Halo... I saw, and I forget who built this, and I, I apologize. If I, if I remember, I will put it in the description. But I saw someone try to recreate the little uh, recharge weapon stations that you would see in the campaign that you could pull Covenant weapons off of. And they use the ODST drop pods, and I can't remember... That was interesting. I can't remember exactly how they did it. So, if I can find a photo or something, I will insert it now. They might have kind of doubled up on it like this. I think they did something like this, actually. And now that I see that, I'm regretting the color palette I chose. I think they did something like this, honestly. So we'll, we'll call it that. So this is basically one ODST drop pod, and now a second one upside down. This is the door inlaid a bit. And what I did is I colored them uh, grape, or deep purple and plum. Everything else here is uh, grape and plum, but grape looked too bright on this. And then the third color I chose is the red-brown, which now that I see it in greater detail on the bottom, I would have probably changed that color. And then I just stuck a needler in the middle. And these are actually kind of cool. That, um, you know, you can build kind of Covenant-style little uh, weapon stations again. Okay. So the third and final build style is, if you've probably guessed by now, Forerunner. Um... So Forerunner is kind of the opposite of Covenant. Where Covenant has curves, Forerunners is all about angles. You can go pretty detailed or very little detail with Forerunner builds, and they kind of all look great. So I'll show you kind of what I did here. So here I have a little bridge with kind of the blue detailing all along it, and it came out a little haphazard, but I didn't work too you know, specific and too long on all these. Were I to build an actual map, I would probably put more time and more focus into all these things. Um, so what I have here, let me show you. So here I have trapezoids and triangles alternating. So these are two triangles, these are two trapezoids, triangles, trapezoids, etc., etc. They are laid inside a blue chroma screen. This is neon blue. So chroma screens, if you didn't know, have no hitbox. They're used for basically green screen effects for those of us who do machinimas. So if you put them on the ground and then you put all the blocks in place, the small cracks that appear in between them with magnets create these little blue stripes. This actually is coloration of the block, whereas this is the chroma screen. Same with here, and you can see it kind of leaking out on the sides here. So I thought that was a really cool idea to make what is basically a flat piece, a little more interesting and a little more fun. And then the details of the actual trapezoids themselves 
kind of create the details of, you know, the blocks. If you think uh, Colosseum or if you think Raid on Apex 7, those are both Forerunner uh, associated maps. The other thing you have to remember with Forerunner is that pieces don't have to be connected. Pieces can float. So here I have these little handrail cover pieces that are basically magnetized to the corner here and then lifted up by about a level. These are just trapezoids. Again, same coloration. Um, this coloration is white with metallic turned all the way up and then neon blue. Metallic is very important. It doesn't have to be this color palette. It could be uh, black. It could be orange. It could be really anything. The two things you have to remember is that Covenant structures are always metallic, and their accent color is always a, a, basically a warm color. Now, blue is not a warm color, but the neon blue makes it a warm-ish of a cool color. It's a little artsy crap there. That what that's what makes it okay. Uh, you could do orange, you could do red. We've seen people do green, all sorts of colors, as long as it's bright or a warm color. Underneath here, we have these uh, support rod or the support trusses detailed. Uh, tech, in case they add other detail. This is currently the only detailed one. I like these a lot for Forerunner builds. These are built a lot on the Antifreeze map um, because they have a lot of those tech designs in them. Again, metallic white. Actually, these are gray because white looks a little too bright on these. So these are uh, gray. And then they have the blue detailing as well. If you come up here, I wanted to show you this. This is a remixed version of those little pylon... I don't really know what to call them. This is a structure that is on the Antifreeze map. Antifreeze is a BTB forged map that is in matchmaking, for those of you who don't know, that is a Forerunner theme. And he has these everywhere. Um, the different... I modified mine a little bit. The difference basically is he has two less of the... Basically these curved pieces here. There's only two of them, so there'd be like one here and here. This one wouldn't be there, and neither would the other side. And then this block is actually a trapezoid that matches the curved sides. Since I did four, because I prefer the look of four of them, I decided to put a block at the bottom. But let me show you how to make this, because I think this is kind of a really cool effect. And then I added a light beam in the middle. So let's get into how to build this. So again, the color palette is white metallic with neon blue. So this centerpiece is a column block. Uh, this is the blocky column. This one is 8x8x20. Eight eight and then all along the sides here are these support rod trusses. And you just need to find the ones that fit the column block you're using. Uh, the 8 is probably a good size. It creates enough of a barrier without being too ridiculously big. Then at the bottom here is just a regular old block. Um that matches kind of the size. So this one happens to be 16, and it just kind of fits around the whole side. Up top here, we have an invisible light that is set to neon blue again. It is, uh, the cone type is light rays with a width of 0.10 and a length of regular 10, of whole 10. And that gives it that nice, thin, piercing beam that you see in a lot of those Forerunner structures. That is it for my little tutorial on the three building styles in relation to bridges. Um, if you would like to see, like I mentioned before, if you'd like to see other structures built in all three styles to kind of give you a reference point, please let me know and I will get on working on those. I hope to have more Forge tutorials and map features out in the future. I don't play a lot of custom games despite wanting to, so I don't have a chance to capture a lot of footage for any maps. And any custom games I do play are usually testing lobbies, so, you know, they're not ready yet. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all.